So the playoffs are upon us. We really need to get ourselves a win and get ourselves through, otherwise we are definitely fired. What's up guys, Chase and Emily here with episode number 19 of Living the Dream and today we are playing that first playoff game in the National League North against Curzon Ashton. Now there's nothing you've missed game-wise, but I did make a small mistake and buy some players. So we're going to see some new signings today, which is good because we need the reinforcements because a lot of players are injured. So coming in was Saxon Early, came from Norwich, looks like a decent signing in midfield. He'll stick around for a bit. Alex Kirk came in from Arsenal, he's a centre-half, he's definitely playing today because he's probably the best centre-half of the club, which is not a problem because we're it. the defence has been awful, so that's always a benefit. Ethan Burnett, another central midfielder, comes in, I think, from Southampton. Yeah, looks like a good player. Marco Roos is coming as well from Southampton. He's a right winger, attacking midfielder. We need to work with him. Matthew Craig is a central midfielder, an attacking central midfielder. He's come in as well, so we're going to keep an eye out for him. He's come from, they've all come from Spurs the next lot. Max Robson has come in. He's an attacking midfielder who can play all over the place. He'll be on the bench today. And we've got Callum Cisse who is going to be playing at right back for us, at least for today, but he can play pretty much anywhere, so we'll keep an eye out for him too. But with any further ado, let's get into the game and let's see what we can do. So the starting line today sees O'Meara in goal. Cissé starts at right back with Kirk and Jones in the middle. Halem starts on the left. We've got Yelseen on the right-hand side. Hardy and Burnett in the centre. Kyle Brady starts on the left because Vinny Kayembe is not fully fit. And obviously Bradley Sunnies is out for the rest of the season. Torrent and Cahill start up top because Jason Porter is not fully fit. He's on the bench in case we need him, but he's, he shouldn't be needed, hopefully. McCormick and Baxter, Robson and Moody make up the rest of the bench. So let's get straight into the game, see if we can get ourselves the win against Kurz and Ashton. If we win today, then obviously we're going to go on to the next round. I haven't looked up who we're playing. It shouldn't be of much consequence, hopefully. Just got to beat them. Either way, whoever we play, we have to beat into the dressing room, big match for us, even bigger for supporters, gives them a good performance, that's a pumpy fist he won. Alex Kirk cared and it's his first game for the club, he hasn't even had a chance to build an affinity with the fans. We've got the fancy TV graphics, that's good, we get to see Steve Hardy's soul patch in full glory. Looking at the Kurz and Ashton team, they're playing in pink today apparently. Darren Stevenson's a guy we know from when we wanted Stockport a few years ago, we know he's a threat. Don't recognise any of the other players though, so let's get into the game and see what we can do. It's taken us a few minutes to get here, 25 minutes, but we had our first highlight, it was a free kick from Kurz and Ashton, didn't we go anywhere, Cissé has picked up the ball though, finds Cahill, can we hit them on the break, get that first goal that we desperately need, ball outside to Kyle Brady, can Kyle Brady score or provide something, whips it across for Yalstein, Yalstein can't put it away, Brady can't put away the second bite of the cherry, we've got ourselves a penalty and Alex Kirk apparently is taking it. We know nothing about this guy, he's just signed for us, is he a decent penalty taker, this is where we find out. God, I hope he's a decent penalty taker. He is a decent penalty taker. He's put it away. It's 1-0. We lead Kurz and Ashton and progress progress towards the next round of the playoffs. Remember, this is a three-round playoff. You play the first round against the teams who are essentially 7th and 6th, play 5th and 4th, and then whoever's left plays 1st and 2nd, and whoever's left plays a final. So there's still two games left to go in the playoffs. Jones heads it away looking for Torrent, doesn't find him, Merrill is on the ball though. Curran picks it up, can we do something about this? I mean, not defending apparently, but you know, we'll figure it out. Ball at the top, Kirk is there looking very good already, we're quite happy with him. He's made, he's done defensive things and he's scored a goal. Merrill on the ball, let's try and get this back. Hardy gets it back, big ball over the top, looking in the direction of sort of no one. Cahill gets there with a tackle, can he put this away? He's narrowed the angle, which is a bit stupid. What was that? Why would you narrow the angle like that? Why? Why? Just get on your feet and shoot. Free kick now for Curzon. We need to do something about this. Let's get this ball away as quickly as we can. Anyone? I mean, no one really. Heaton's on it. Puts it set square and Tharm has scored. <sighs> to think. It all could have been very different if it only... Chris Cahill had any idea of how angles work. Basic primary school geometry. If he understood basic primary school geometry, we could have been 2-0 up. But nope, now we have to fight again. So we go into the break, it's one all. 
things not looking great so far, I've got to be honest, you're performing well out there, the result will come, everyone looks inspired, okay, that's what we like to see, when our team looks inspired, they tend to produce something, hopefully they'll produce a winning goal. Corner for Curzon, Waters takes it, let's get rid of this as quickly as we can, Cissé stops it on the line, Curran's picked it back up towards Posher, Heaton, Curran, Heaton again, and it's come to nothing. Throw in now for us. Cissé will go long. Can he get this ball to anyone? Heaton back out. Cissé will pick it back up. Can he get the ball in looking for anyone in the box? He's looked for Torrent. Torrent's there. Second bite of the cherry. Joseph Torrent puts the ball away for his ninth goal of the season. And we are finally back in front. And we can maybe breathe a little bit easier now. Because we, it's now our game to lose. It's only a one-off game. It's not like regular playoffs in the other divisions. If you know, if you win, you win, you lose, you lose. It's not two legs, is what I'm trying to say. And one day I'll remember how to speak English. Omer with a goal kick plays it short to Kirk. What can we do from here? Ball looking forward would be good. And he finds Casey, his fellow new boy. What can we do from here? Anything forward will work. Yalcine is there. We know Yalcine can produce when he needs to. What's he going to do? Who's he going to look for? Just not going to look for anyone because Merrill gets attacked. And luckily Hardy was there to continue the run. Steve Hardy has a pop from distance, and it really wasn't worth the effort. Free kick from Curzon. Posher to Walker to, wa to Waters. That's easy to say. Merrill to Speed. Let's get a tackle, boys. Tackle. Anyone tackle. I mean, that's, that's got to be a red, surely. That was two-footed, and he was nowhere near the ball. It is a straight red for Darren Seamerson. Old boy of the channel has done us a favour there. Free kick. Hardy is going to take it as I've made a sub. Uh, Mason dives in to make the save. And hopefully we're not going to get hit on the break here. Baxter is going to come on for Kirk very shortly as Halem picks up the ball. Looks down the side for Brady to Robson, another new signing who's come on just to freshen things up a little bit. Halem gets back about as quickly as Continental Drift. Robson, what can he do? Back to Halem. Let's get the ball up the field, guys. Finds Brady. Let's get into the box. Ball into the box there. Torrent is there. Tries to make it his second of the game. Can't quite find it. And Cissé has picked up a knock, which is far from ideal. Halem now with a throw-in. What can he do? Looking for Brady. Brady isn't quite there. He didn't even jump for it, to be fair. Halem again. Ball over the top. Looking for Torrent. Can Torrent get there? Joseph Torrent. Oh, it's offside. It's offside. It was so close, but it is offside in the end. Ten minutes left to play. I'm going to take Cahill off because he's been incredibly unspectacular. We'll send Jason Porter and he's still looking for his 40th goal of the season. He's currently on 38, but, you know, a little bit of faith. He can get himself to 40. And just before we got to full time, Cissé has had to come off injured. There's not a lot I can really do there, if I'm quite honest. I'm just going to rearrange this defence and hope we can hold on for the 45 seconds of the game that remain. But it wasn't ideal. Not an ideal t time to lose a player. Especially a brand new signing who's had such a good debut. But we'll just have to see this one through to the final whistle. Which hopefully should be coming now. If it has. We are going to make it through to the next tie. Which is exactly what we need to do. We'll tell them it was a good win. They should all be quite happy with that. And hopefully Callum, K uh, Callum Cissé is not too badly injured. So Cissé's only, uh, only out for a couple of days. That's okay. Burnett also injured. Picked only out for a couple of days. And we are going to be playing Hereford in the semi-final of the playoff. They finished third in the table. I don't know what happened in the other playoff game to see who's still in it. I didn't want to do that either. Let's have a quick look. So I guess Chorley must have beaten Darlington. Chorley were below us in the league. Which means if Chorley beat Kidderminster and we beat Hereford, we would play at home in the final. Which would be a big boost to our chances and exactly what we need to see. So we're going to wrap up the episode there. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, I'm on the socials below. That's Twitter, Insta, and Patreon. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Magic graphics there, because magic graphics are all fun for all the family. And until next time, guys, I've been Chasing Lamely. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon. Have a good one.